With the Senate Update, I'm Julie Bartke. Senator Tony Lorre was one of the leads in crafting the original health insurance exchange legislation two years ago. Concerns over transparency of the program and of its managers led Senator Lorre to introduce legislation that he believes would increase the accountability of both the program and its managers. We caught up with him to discuss his legislation and Senator Michelle Benson, who would prefer going in a different direction when reforming the program. So Senator Lori, your bill would change how Minsure is run, making it a state agency. And in your news release, you stated, the public-private governance of Minsure did not provide enough transparency for the public, legislature, or industry during this rollout process. So is this essentially the impetus for the change? Uh, pretty much. I mean, honestly, you know, we built a hybrid public-private partnership, as you mentioned, um, in order to make it more nimble in operating within a largely private marketplace with some expected benefits. Um, you know, honestly, one of the real frustrations that many people had was the ability to, to learn how to access this new structure. And so this gives a clear, well-understood line of authority directly to the governor who's in charge, um, you know, and so bringing it into how we do very core public functions and doing it in more of a standard manner makes a great deal of sense and I think will relieve a lot of the issues. Some of the issues that have come forward are about legislative authority over the budget, which has been, you know, questioned and really this brings it entirely into the legislative authority, makes sure that it's open, accountable, transparent, the things that we expect of a core public function such as the one Minsure performs. So do you think it could impact the overall operations of Minsure, changing the oversight? Well, I don't think that it will initially um, change the operations of Minsure. And one of the things that I really need to say whenever I talk about this is this is not about personalities. This is not about the um, inner workings, the day-to-day -day functioning of Minsure. I think most of that will be stable. I also need to remind people that the open enrollment period is still running till February for, uh, 15th and we need people to show up and make sure that they get the best deal. There is financial help available for most people buying insurance and it's only available through Minsure. Operations are continuing while we have this discussion, and it isn't going to change a great deal how they operate. It's going to change how they're accountable to, again, the public, the legislature, the governor. It's, it's about good governance. Senator, you mentioned earlier what you thought the greatest frustration of the public was during this entire process. Well, is that also your greatest frustration throughout this? Uh, technical issues or well, the technical issues are something that we can't fix with legislation certainly you know um, the technology problems were um, pretty difficult to manage in the first year out it's much better this year there's still work to go our partners navigators brokers counties folks trying to help people navigate the system are having a better time but there's still issues the back end issues are still real um, uh, running of our public programs has been um, somewhat problematic, getting information to the carriers to make sure that they understand what's happening. Still some problems with technology, but overall much, much better. We're um, getting people enrolled. We made tremendous strides. I mean, we had a 60% reduction in the unemployed in our first year out. So despite the problems, the dedicated staff at Minsure and people's patients working through uh, a less than perfect system um, yielded some really valuable um, uh, uh, progress for Minnesota. Progress I'm pretty proud of and don't want to, to um, prevent from continuing. Okay, Senator, some GOP members are likely going to argue that this is just another layer of bureaucracy and not needed. What made you decide that this is the best avenue moving forward? Well, again, it's about good governance to me. Um, good government, this is a core public function. One of the underlying um, functions of Minsure is to determine eligibility for our public health care programs and to determine whether an individual qualifies for and the amount of a tax credit that the individual is eligible for. Those are core public functions and using uh, a, um, a, a governance structure that is um, familiar to Minnesotans going back and, and creating that direct line of authority to the governor, uh, budgetary authority coming through the legislature with oversight of MMB giving us that 
that consistent view with a great deal of detail behind it so that we can ask appropriate questions and have a better understanding of it, I think will go a long way to um, meet many of the objections that are not on a partisan basis, to tell you the truth. Okay, my last question for you, Senator. It's early in session, obviously, but do you anticipate any other minshore related legislation moving forward? Have you heard anything? Well, I mean, there's a lot of ideas. I, you know, exactly how it's going to happen. Most of the bills will not originate in my division. Um, they will have state and local ramifications. They will have commerce uh, uh, ramifications. They will have possibly judiciary ramifications. There's a whole host of committees that any proposal would go through. Um, you know, I, I, I think the governors actually got a pretty decent message, you know, we're open to talking about what worked, what didn't work. We did some ma fairly major reforms. And a couple of years into any major reform initiative, it's just good governance to go back and look and see what worked and what didn't. And so we're open to the conversation. We're not interested in dismantling Minsure. And, and my proposal does not do that. It actually allows them to continue that which is good, but uh, create a better um, governance structures to, to really build the accountability that that was a bit of a frustration at times. Okay. Senator Tony Lorre just said that he is not interested in dismantling Minshore and his legislation would not go in that direction at all. Are you interested in still opting out of Minshore? I don't think Minshore has been successful as it's structured and if he wants to keep the current structure then I will work hard to um, explain to him why I think it needs to be broken into some key operational pieces. The private market is really good at enrolling people in insurance and they in fact have saved Minshore from completely falling flat. And our counties are really good at enrolling people in public programs and they too saved Minshore from completely falling flat. And if you look at those two strengths, I think that's where we should move with policy. We should play to our strengths rather than keep a system in place simply because we are vested in that system. So moving away from the direction that you just talked about and a little more focused on the proposal Senator Lori just introduced, would you support one that essentially makes Minshore a government agency? I, right now I'm, I'm not supportive of Senator Lori's bill. It doesn't look like real reform. It looks like shifting some power. Fine, the legislature has more control over the budget, which it absolutely should. Minshore is removed from its special rulemaking authority. That's very good. So there are good things in this bill that we can agree on, but creating yet another department isn't what's going to solve the long-term fiscal instability and the fact that it's not responsive to consumers. Does it go uh, a long way, in your opinion, as far as resolving some of the transparency issues? Those were issues that you were very vocal about in the past couple of sessions. Um, I think it gives the legislature a better view of what's going on, but again, our, our focus, the reason we want transparency is so we can solve the issues that citizens, taxpayers, and consumers of this insurance portal are facing. And I don't think putting it under a department deals with those very real problems. Finally, Senator Lori did say that they are open to conversations on other re methods of reform and other revisions and uh, uh, to Minshore overall. What would you like to propose to him given the opportunity? Um, again, let's go back to our strengths. Let's make sure our counties have the technology they need so that they can do full enrollment to those people we've decided should be in our public programs, give them access, make sure that they can get their medical assistance or Minnesota care if they're eligible for food stamps. Let's make sure that that is an easy, transparent process and quit burdening our counties. And then let's let the private market do what it's really good at, helping people find the insurance that's right for their families. So I'd prefer that direction. Again, we have had many vigorous conversations about Minsure over the course of the last four years. I am just grateful that Senator Lori is willing to broach the subject because for the last two years, the Democrats have been very quiet about Minsure. And so we're moving away from the status quo. I think that's good news for everyone. You are co-authoring a bill with Senator Rosen, does it does it ha include a lot of the the components that you just expressed? It does include a lot of the components that are in Senator Lori's bill, but again, we need to move a different direction. We can agree on basic pieces, but move in different directions, and so that's what we'll be working with with the House, with the Governor, and with Senator Lori. Senator Michelle Benson, as always, thanks for joining us. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you.